The Canadian winter is legendary for its cruelty. And I live in a part of Canada that's stereotypical, even by Canadian standards, for the harshness of its climate. Um, in spite of the stereotype, most Canadians actually, like most people anywhere, detest that kind of cold. Um, the ideal way to deal with the winter for most Canadians would be to get on a plane and go to Jamaica or something. Go to Australia, go anywhere where it isn't like this. Um, I won't say that I'm not somewhat like that. I like being indoors and warm or in a warm climate as much as anyone else does. However, I do like to put on about 3,000 layers of clothing, uh, put on my fake fur hat that you see here, and my sunglasses, and go for a walk in the bitter cold, especially on a sunny day like you see here. It gets my blood flowing. It seems to do something wonderful to my testosterone because uh, it's a strongly masculine feeling, I guess you'd call it, and uh, well, it makes me feel young when I'm out in it. Um, I like to walk around and see the way the frost on things alters their appearance. I like to feel my body adjusting to the cold. Um, I don't know, I just find it a very atavistic feeling to get out into that cold weather, feel some discomfort, and feel alive. Most Canadians, again, think that that's kind of a crazy thing to do. Go outside, yes, by all means, play a game of hockey, uh, go skating, go uh, tobogganing or something, but just to wander aimlessly through the city streets uh, in the freezing cold is crazy. Well, I like it. That's just me. And sometimes I wander around thinking, why don't these people in these nice, warm, snug houses do this? Because they're missing out on something. I think, uh, well, that's kind of the last man in there sitting beside his fire. He's thinking nothing of comfort and warmth and a nice mug of cocoa with a marshmallow in it, and maybe a shot of brandy in there and a roaring fire and all that kind of thing. Or I'm thinking of the other Canadian who's sitting down on a beach somewhere in uh, New Zealand or in Cape Town, South Africa or something who's escaped for the winter or for a few weeks in the winter and uh, he's mighty glad that he's there. I think these people are missing out on something. All they think of is the obvious things, comfort and ease and relaxation. The winter seems to bring me to life. Um, I love the summer, don't get me wrong, but I don't fear the winter the way many people do. But the winter can kill you. It gets so cold that you can freeze to death in, I don't know, 15 minutes, I suppose, if you're not properly prepared for it. Every year, alcoholics are found frozen to death, um, having passed out, uh, staggering home from wherever, or just staggering around. Um, and uh, in the old days, as Tolstoy wrote, there were quarters in Moscow where the poor people simply froze to death. I'm not trying to say that the cold is nice. I'm not trying to say that the cold is comfortable. I'm not trying to say that the cold is conducive to human welfare. It is not any of these things. But it makes me feel truly alive. I really like that feeling. My friends think that I'm a bit crazy. My co-workers can't understand why I walk to work when there's I have a car and there's a bus route that takes me essentially from the door of my house to the door of my workplace. I like to walk through it. That's why. Um, I don't expect any, everyone else to share this, uh, to share this view of the winter. Um, it's uh, just another, I guess, of my eccentric preferences. Um, but again, it does let you know that there are two sides to anything. If we were to place value on the Canadian winter, most people would say that it's horrible. Most Canadians would say it was horrible, and they wish it would just go away. It wouldn't come here. I don't feel that way. I think that the Canadian winter has a charm that maybe some people may have to learn. I'd never seem to need to learn it. Um, but its value is not apparent to most people. But it has value to me. I like it. I like what it does to me. I like what it does to my life. I like what it does to my view of the world. I like what it does 
in so many ways that you know I could go on and on about this. You read some. Canadian literature, or especially you, you read Russian literature or Scandinavian literature, and the people who write this kind of thing, this winter idealization, I guess you'd call it, um, are often aware of the acute difficulties in getting this across to people, why they really have an affinity for a climate that is overtly, unbelievably harsh and uninviting and even deadly and dangerous. But nonetheless, I do like it. It has positive value to me. Anything can have positive value if it does something to you that you like. I'm not trying to say that everything has positive value in all cases, and I'm not trying to tell anybody else to alter what they find value in. That just, I can't imagine how one would go about that, getting someone to alter their values. Um, I suppose one could do that coercively through implanted guilt, um, but uh, how do you alter things that you actually get positive benefit from? That's a bit tough. Again, I suppose there are acquired tastes. Uh, I wasn't born liking whiskey, but I soon sure learned to like it. Um, I think I've always liked the Canadian winter. Most people hate it. And there is a lot to be said against it. But does it have absolute value? No, it does not. As I say, comfort, warmth, security safety, feel good, but if I had them all the time, my life would not be as full as it is now. For whatever reason, I want something other than the obvious things, because the obvious things don't do it for me all the time. People who do seem to get benefit from the obvious things, as I say, strike me as something akin to the last man. Comfort, safety, security, an untroubled life. I understand the appeal of these things, but they're not for everybody. <laughs>